In John 14, 3, we read this wonderful promise. Uh, this is where Jesus comforts his disciples. Today we're going to finish up our study uh, of the Great Tribulation timeline, and we're going to look at number seven. Number seven is the end of the 1335 days. So the end of the 1335 days of the Great Tribulation, uh, Jesus will arrive in the clouds to take his family home with him. And uh, along with Jesus when he comes will be God the Father and the Holy Spirit and all the loyal angels in heaven will be with him. My guess is this is going to be billions and billions of angels that will accompany uh, God's arrival on planet Earth for Jesus to get his inheritance. This will be quite an amazing day, unbelievable. In John 14, 3, we read this wonderful promise. Uh, this is where Jesus comforts his disciples. He says, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house has many rooms. And if that weren't so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. So this is where Jesus fulfills this promise. He's going to come back with God the Father and the Holy Spirit and all of heaven. All of heaven is going to come with him. And he's going to call the dead in Christ from the grave, and they're going to be caught up into the clouds. And those of us that would be alive, we're going to be caught up into the clouds, and we're going to go with Jesus to the place he has prepared for us in heaven. Won't that be a wonderful day? I can't wait for it. Well, we've covered the first uh, phase of the Great Tribulation, kind of an overview. So I hope you uh, review this and we'll come back to this as we cover our other uh, parts of these storyboards. <music>